Hey folks, it's Bishop Heels from the ECF Forums and Wholesome Fake TV. How the hell are you guys doing, baby? Forget about it. Oh, it is a beautiful, beautiful day. The snow is gone. It's gone. It's totally gone. Oh, and Dimitri, thank you. I did get the shirt, by the way. It looks spiffy, I tell you. Oh, um, and the juice, which we'll be trying out a little bit later today. Um, but hey, I got vape mail. Yes, I got vape mail. From boy Cisco from Avid Vapors, baby. So <clears throat> I thought, let's open it up and let's give it a go, shall we? Yes, man. So, ooh, ooh. You know what it is? I know what it is. You know what it is. It is the ACT, baby, air control tip. Oh, -ho. yes. This is a new product that um, Avid Vapor Cisco is releasing with Dino, collaborated with Dino uh, from John Boy. And this is the, this is a new concept. Um, very first, I would say. It's like an air control drip tip. That's what ACT stands for air control tips yes so this strip tip comes at a 5.5 milliliter bore which I'm gonna open up right now and it comes in um, stainless steel and also it comes in a beaded finish or a brush finish the whole and this one this one is the beaded finish and it looks Beautiful, I gotta say. So, wow, that bore is huge, I tell you. Woohoo! Totally, totally huge. Hmm. So, if you want to use this as a dripper, <laughs> you can use it as a dripper, boy. But uh, we're gonna be testing this out. Now, what makes this special is that for um, anyone that wants to get into rebuildables, especially rebuildables, I mean, you can use it as a regular 510 drip tip if you like um but if you're getting into rebuildables is what i actually hear often is it's a very airy vape and the funny thing is is that everyone experiences that in the beginning when they get into rebuildables i mean it's a it's a it's a little bit of a switch from a 306 510 901 or a cardo tank and then you're getting into a rebuildable dripper um there's a lot of advantages as well as disadvantages. Disadvantages that you lose that tight, tight draw feel that you were probably used to. Um, and the thing is, a lot of people, in my experience, I can tell you straight out that many people experience it in the beginning and then after three weeks, they become so comfortable with it that they need to make it even larger as far as the airway. But to get used to that, um, it's a little bit difficult and it's a little bit challenging. So. This is a device that came out, so if you find it that it's too airy, even if you're using a 2 milliliter hole size, or a 3 milliliter hole size, or 4 milliliter hole size, let me tell you something. This right here will shrink the airway down. Yes, totally. Um, so we're going to be testing that today. We're going to totally be testing that today. Okay, so here are the pieces. Um, it comes in a Ziploc bag. Includes... This is right here, ACT, A-C-T, Air Control Tips. Um, and it comes in, as I said before, um, it comes in stainless steel. It's a 5.5 millimeter size bore. Um, comes with the tool, okay, that you see here. And also comes in with the inserts with an extra O-ring and also an extra O-ring for the actual drip tip. Now, this drip tip, as you can see, let's see if I can uh, focus that a little better for you. There we go. So it comes with dual O-rings, okay? And it's totally, totally big. I mean, look at that. That's 5.5 millimeter bore. That is pretty big. Um, you would be actually adding the actual inserts inside, which you can actually see a little bit of that groove, that inner groove in the inner channel. You see that? That's where the insert gets added. So. Also, behind the card, it actually lists the instructions, okay, that you want to actually add some 
uh, food grade grease onto the actual O-ring to lubricate so you can remove it easily, insert it easily, and you could prolong the life of the O-ring. Um, so let's get to the sizes. So we have the tool, and let's open up these O-rings. So, we have an extra O-ring to the packet, just in case if one of them should get demolished, which I don't see how, because if you keep this lubricated, um, he also offers um, food grade grease to use to, on the O-rings. It's available on his website. I will, also, I will actually put the link in the descriptions. Okay, so so here are all the sizes. Okay, and we have is um, we have 0.8 millimeters, 1.0. We have 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, and 1.8. Um, now, when you order this, it's also going to come with a small packet of food grade, uh, the O-ring grease. Um, I haven't. Um, he actually didn't send it with me with the grease because I kind of use Vaseline. I'm, that's that's what I use, but um, a lot of people feel a little bit hesitant about using Vaseline and they prefer using a food grade um, material. And I gotta say, this looks remarkably beautiful. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's have some fun, shall we? Oh, yes, a rebub. So I'm actually, okay, putting the sizes. There we go. So now you're saying to yourself, what am I going to use this for? Well, quite simply, to control the airflow. Yes, man, to control the airflow. When you get on to rebuildables, okay, case in point, here's one right now. And on this rebuildable over here, okay, that we're going to be using for the demonstration, where it has these huge slits. See that? Both sides. So anyone that's coming onto a rebuildable, and they find it very airy, and no matter if they actually move this to almost in the closed position, they still find it airy. There are many people that I know, they still find it extremely airy. So they need something like this. This is a necessity for them because this will grant them a little bit more, much more of a tighter, tighter, tighter drawer. Yes. Or you can just use it as a regular, look at that, drip tip. Okay, it fits right on. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be playing, we're going to be decreasing the actual vent while having the actual airflow completely, completely open. So we'll have the slits completely open, okay, while we'll be testing this. So the way we're going to do this is quite simply. I'm going to use the smallest size, which is 0.8. And I'm just lubricating a little bit of that O-ring. And all what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to, see that? That's it. Put it in. Now, when I put it in, look at the size. Okay? Now, when that's done, all what you need to do is, insert it here. I'm going to get some juice. juice to my coils. Okay. With slits completely open. Okay. 
Now we're going to take a vape. Okay, so I have this on the smallest size. I have it on 0.8, okay? Okay. Um, it's going to be a very, very tight draw. I mean, extremely tight. Now, very, very tight. I mean, I feel like I'm sucking out of a straw right now. Totally. Um, so, that for me is extremely tight. Totally tight. Now, say if I was going to use it on the on the Kraken being that it has an AFC air control as well and I have it completely widely open this fits completely right on it and it actually matches so very 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 tight um, it's it's very hard um, to vape this at sub ohms, you can't really, um, it's too hot, it's very, very, very hot of a vape, so, now, I'm actually, see, this is 0.8, okay, now we're going to be changing that, we're going to be using his tool, okay, which he supplied, now, 0.8 may be great for 1.5 resistance addies, if you actually build uh, a coil 1.2, 1.5 would probably be very, very ideal for it. So, pretty much, you would insert this tool right inside, and as you can see, see how it's coming out? So, all I'm doing is just pushing it out. There we go, and it's out. Now, I'm gonna insert, let's insert, uh, 1.2 and a little bit of grease I know it's not food grade it's not food grade I know I know I know there we go Wow, even at 1.2, I still find it that it improves on flavor. <laughs> wow, um, I have the AFCs completely open, okay, and it actually improved on flavor because now you don't have a lot of air going into the coil, so it's it actually improves the flavor. This is, this is beautiful because you know what this means. You know what this means. That means you can have, let's say, a 3 milliliter size hole on each side for a dual coil. And you can slap in one of these drip tips on there. And you can control it the way you want. If you want a tighter, stiffer drawer, you can do that. If you want even an open drawer, complete open drawer, well, obviously, once you get to that point, you don't have to use the inserts anymore. Okay, so consider this more like training wheels. Oh, man, trading wheels is what I call this right now. Mm. Wow. At 1.2, it, it's, it's, it's a great, great taste that you get out of it. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit of a, a stiff draw for me, but, I mean, if you like it stiffer, you can go all the way down to one, uh, 0 0.8, okay? Um, let's, let's make this a little bit airier. And the way we're going to make this area is moving this insert. And let's go on 1.6. Get some more Vaseline. Apply it onto the O-ring. This is very simple. This is so simple to use. There we go. Wow, wow. You know, even with the AFC channels completely open, this still overrides. So it's, um, this is, 
this is very genius. I have to say, this this thing is extremely out of this world. Wow. It's it's mind boggling though. It's so simple. It's so simple and has never been never been released. It's so simple. I'm still I'm still shocked. Because now you can actually drill out a big size on an airway. I can really see a lot of potential with this because what what I'm what I'm thinking of is people that uses the Zenith, people that uses the Patriot, people have a Jenny mod and they don't they feel like they want to have a lot of flavor but they don't want to get a very very airy hit or they do want an airy hit but then at times they want to get a tighter draw because of a certain juice they want to taste a little more and and this is the answer to that the, this is the answer to their prayers right now because this is something that now with with eyes closed you can have like a, a three mil size hole um, and not worry about it because if you have a drip tip like this um, that you can actually control the actual draw on it, okay, from from point eight to point one. I mean, point eight to one to one point two, one point four, one point six, and one point eight. Ooh, you're cooking, damn Cisco. That's brilliant, man. Totally freaking brilliant. So now let's try the one point eight. Just add some lubricant first. There we go, it's in. This is 1.8. I'm gonna try it on my 0.5 dual coils now. Wow, wow, that is totally impressive. Like, it makes you think that you have a very, very small slot size as far as uh, the air intake. Wow. Wow, I actually, man, that's, it's amazing, it's totally amazing. I mean, something as simple as this, adjusting the airflow on the actual drip tip is totally, totally amazing, totally amazing. And it's so simple to do, you know, you can, you can carry these inserts in your little Ziploc with the tool and you could just change them on the fly whenever you like. Oh man. Wow. Now I want to do this on the um, actual copperhead. Wow, well, it fits ideally right onto my copperhead. But it would help if I had more juice in it, you know? Wow. Beautiful. It works. Works ideal. Cisco, I gotta give it to you. You know, man, these guys are great, I tell you, man. They always come up with new ideas and new stuff that helps the vaping community. This thing is amazing. Um, I'm going to put in the link in the descriptions uh, on Avid Vapor site. Because this is a must-have. If you're getting on rebuildables and you find it, it's too airy, this is your solution. Um, and, of course, once, once you get to the point that you're doing major lung hits, because um, it's going to happen. You're just going to grow into it. You're just going to naturally grow into it. Then you can just remove the insert, okay, and use the 5.5 actual bore size and vape on it. Totally. And you can use it as a dripper. If I put it on my dripper over here, and I can just drip right in. Oh yeah. This is delicious. It's totally ideal. This is great. 
Camino, Cisco, you guys came out with a really, really beautiful, beautiful concept here. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, I'm very, very pleased with this. This is going to help a lot of people because I build a lot of coils, as many of you guys know. And a lot of people want to get into um, rebuildables, but they, they tell me the same thing. It, it, it has to do with the draw. Um, it's too airy versus a 306 because they're coming from either a 306, 510, 901s. And the draws in those are very, very, very tight compared to rebuildables. There's no question on that. Um, so it, it's, it's a little bit challenging for them. And this is something that is a necessity, I would think, because it will give you the comfort of not having to lung hit. How's that? Seriously. I mean, this works totally, totally ideal for that. Um, so I'm going to put in the, the link in the descriptions, and if you have any comments or questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'll be more than happy to help you out with that. Um, I'm going to put in the link in the descriptions. Um, so with that, I'm going to cut this video short. Live hard and vape hard. Forget about it.